Hey everyone, today's video is going to be an Audi haul slash taste test. So I picked up a bunch of things that I haven't previously tried. I know it's not been that long since my last one of these, but I popped Audi again recently and I was like, I might as well do a haul. This is not my weekly food shop in any sense. This is mostly just snacks and junk food and things that I saw in Audi that I hadn't previously tried that I wanted to pick up. So I figured I would share them with you guys. Before I show anything, please excuse the state of me throughout this video. It is so warm today. I think it's like 27 degrees and I am melting slightly. I'm also still at my mum's, which is why the background is a little bit different, but yeah. I'm progressively going to get more and more warm throughout this video, so please ignore that. I'm going to start by showing you guys the frozen bits that I picked up, and I will insert the clips of me trying them. There are a few things I've tried already, and a couple of bits that I'm very excited to try. So the first thing that I picked up are these chicken burgers. If you've seen my last Audi haul, you'll know that I picked up the spicy chicken burgers, and I wasn't a huge fan. I just thought they had like a little bit of a weird taste. I really liked like the coating on them. The chicken texture was pretty decent, but the flavour was just not right for me. So I thought I would give the non-spicy ones a go. These are slightly different because the chicken patty is just breadcrumbed. It's not like a like a southern fried chicken style burger. So I'm curious to know if that's going to change anything. I assume the inside filling, like the protein filling, is the same. But I'll have to see... I'm just hoping that taste wise these are more my thing like this is definitely more of like a basic option but i feel like you could probably make a good replica of the burger king burger with this potentially or the kfc chicken burger i'm definitely more of a chicken burger person than a beef burger person like a vegan beef burger person i think generally if there's something chicken on the menu i will go for it over a beef burger so i'm excited to give these a go and they were one pound 49 for two i definitely feel like the texture of this chicken patty is a a little bit different to the spicy chicken one i mean the coating is obviously different but i feel like the meat as well feels a little bit softer i think taste wise i definitely prefer the taste of this i mean it doesn't really taste like a whole lot i'm not gonna lie but i really wasn't a big fan of the spicy chicken burger i also like the thickness of this one but i wouldn't say it's anything like crazy good i've definitely had better vegan chicken burgers I probably would buy these again if I just wanted something super simple. I think they'd probably work best on things that you're going to add like a lot of flavour to. This is like the most basic burger. I've literally just added ketchup and mustard. So I think if I tried a little bit harder with the toppings, this would work a lot better. But generally, I would maybe give this like a 7 out of 10. I then also picked up some beef burgers again for £1.49. Even though I've literally just said about how I prefer chicken burgers, <laughs> I still wanted to give these a go. So I've tried... A fair few amount of vegan beef burgers now like probably maybe 20 odd i want to say so i feel like i'm quite a good judge on what makes a good vegan burger this is made from wheat protein it's also got mushroom and soy protein and pea protein in this so it's got everything going on it's also got onion they're pretty decent size they're like fat burgers <laughs> as opposed to like the really thin supermarket ones you can sometimes get so yeah, again, I'm excited to give these a go. And these are also high in protein. So per burger, there are 19 grams of protein, if that's something that you're interested in. I am not fully convinced on this beef burger. I just don't feel like it's got a lot going on. The flavor seems really, really bland. I like the texture of it. I like the size of it. But honestly, it just doesn't taste like anything in my opinion. So I think I would maybe give this like a six out of 10. I don't think I would buy this again. I feel like I've had a lot of other vegan burgers that I prefer a lot more. The Tesco ones, I think they're just their plant chef range. I really like, and they are £1.50 for two. So I think that might even be a little bit cheaper than these or the same sort of price. I would say not offensive, but I wouldn't buy these again. The next couple of things I have actually eaten already. So I can share with you guys my thoughts. The first one being these hot dogs. You get four in here and it's £1.69. These are new, so I was very excited to see that my Audi had them in stock and they are very much like hot dog style sausages, which I know sounds stupid because it's literally in the name, but I feel like often things are sold as like hot dogs, but they're just like a standard sausage, whereas this has got like the smoky frankfurter type taste. Now, the instructions to cook these are to boil them, but I had them on a barbecue and it worked just as good, tasted absolutely fine. 
didn't get food poisoning so i definitely recommend trying these on a barbecue if you're looking for like a good vegan sausage this year for any summer barbecues they're quite chunky they're like thicker than i would say like a standard frankfurter but I really enjoyed them. I wouldn't say they're like my favourite vegan sausage I've tried. I would maybe give them like a 7 out of 10. But I would definitely buy them again. And then the other thing that we tried on our barbecue the other night are these veggie babs. This is the Tex-Mex inspired ones. And these were £1.69 as well. Now I'm pretty sure they brought these out last year. And I think they might have different flavours. But in my local Aldi they only had this Tex-Mex one. Now I wasn't sure if I was really going to enjoy these. Generally, when it comes to like vegan alternatives, I like the meat-based ones. I don't really like things that are like mushed vegetables <laughs> into meat shapes. Like that's not generally my vibe, which this is more along those sorts of lines. It's literally just made from like vegetables pretty much. Ingredients wise, it's courgettes, kidney beans, roasted peppers, sweet corn, red onions, chickpeas, tomato puree, like a bunch of seasonings and things so there's not like a meat alternative protein in here which is good if any of you guys are allergic to soya or wheat as far as i can tell it doesn't seem to have those ingredients in it so this might be a good option for your barbecues but i was actually really pleasantly surprised by these i think i would probably prefer them over the hot dogs i would maybe give them like an 8 out of 10. they worked incredibly well on the barbecue and we also picked up the pita breads from aldi that i showed in my last haul as well those Mediterranean pita breads are literally the best things ever and they work so good on a barbecue. We literally just like toasted it on both sides and then put some of these kebabs in there with some vegan mayonnaise, some vegan coleslaw. 100% recommend. Barbecues are literally like the best thing about summer so I'm definitely going to be picking up some more of these for some future barbecues. And then the final frozen item and maybe the thing that I'm most excited about are these this was £1.49 and it's the McDonald's style hash browns now my friend actually messaged me a picture of these and she was like you need to get them because she knows my love for McDonald's hash browns they're next level they can't be compared to any other hash brown because they're just so much better so if these even come close to a legit McDonald's hash brown I am going to be sold and I'm going to be stocking my freezer full of them you get 10 in a pack they look pretty legit and honestly, it's just so cheeky of Aldi to even bring out this packaging. I know they've got a few different things on their McDonald's range. Like they have burgers and stuff, obviously not vegan. These though, I couldn't see anything in the ingredients that would make them not vegan. They're literally just potato, oil, salt, and then some weird ingredients. So I'm so excited for these. And if they're a letdown, I'm going to be gutted because this would save me a lot of breakfast orders from McDonald's because these are literally the only reason I order anything from mcdonald's i think i knew deep down that this wasn't going to be quite as good as a mcdonald's hash brown to be honest i feel like it tastes just like any other frozen hash brown but in the shape of a mcdonald's one which still isn't bad because i don't think i've really ever had a bad hash brown but it's not quite on mcdonald's level so i think score wise i would give this like 9 out of 10 just because it's a hash brown but if i'm thinking about whether or not it's a mcdonald's hash brown it's probably more like a six and a half seven finally moving on to the snacks and the things i'm going to be trying now i got a couple of different crisp options one of which we have very much made our way through so these are the pop outs this is the salt and vinegar flavor the bags are 85p each and these are very much like a copycat of oh my goodness i can't remember the brand pop chips these are very much copying pop chips and from what i can remember from the last time i had pop chips these are very similar i assume they're significantly cheaper they are marked as suitable for vegans so if you're looking for a good alternative i definitely recommend these we also picked up the barbecue flavor so i'm gonna give these a taste and see what they taste like so just looks like a little pop chip as you'd imagine it smells really strong actually and these are so moorish me and my mum were making our way through the salt and vinegar ones very quickly at last night as we were trying to like get the barbecue working honestly so good i have to say i think i prefer the salt and vinegar ones but these would still be like a solid 8 out of 10 and i'd probably give the salt and vinegar ones a 9 out of 10. i think they're also marketed as like a healthier option I don't know how true that is they are gluten free if that's something you're interested in but just generally i feel like they're a really good snack a really good barbecue snack as well flavor wise it's definitely more of like a sweet barbecue as opposed to a smoky barbecue if you know what i mean but 
yeah, I mean, I would have no complaints, really. I would definitely get both of these flavours again. And then the other savoury snack that I picked up are these. These are tile-style sriracha, and they're flavoured, like, corn and peas. I feel like greys do a very similar packet to this. This was 95p, and I love anything like this, like peanuts nuts in general corn anything savory is normally my jam these were actually in like the little health food section i want to say that aldi do so there are a few different flavors but i thought these ones sounded the most up my street i love that this is a resealable pack as well i feel like it's helping me not eat the whole thing at once i feel like these are sold as like a healthy ish snack but i don't know how healthy this kind of thing is. I assume it's like very fried to get them as crispy as they are, but I could be completely wrong with that. If you guys know how they make this kind of thing, definitely let me know in a comment below. Yeah, I feel like there's probably not a whole lot to say about these. I feel like they taste how they're described to taste. If you're looking for this kind of thing, I would definitely recommend it. I feel like less than a pound is pretty reasonable for this size packet. I would probably again give them like an eight out of 10, a really good kind of salty snack option. Finally, I've got a couple of sweet snacks as well. So the next one was also from that like health food section. These are pecan pie, raw fruit and nut bars, very much imitating naked bars, I imagine. So it's literally cold pressed, gluten-free, no preservatives. And the ingredients in this are dates, pecan nuts, almond pieces, and that is literally it. And they had a few different flavours of these. I think there was like a hazelnut one, a cacao one maybe, a cashew nut one. But I was just kind of intrigued by the pecan. I saw pecan pie and that convinced me. I didn't even look at the ingredients. So the fact that it's literally just pecans, dates and almonds or whatever the other thing was, is pretty crazy if they taste nice. So this is what it looks like. Very similar to the Naked Bars, I would say. I feel like that's kind of how I was expecting it to taste. There's not really a whole lot of flavour, as you can imagine, because it's literally three ingredients. There's no, like, flavouring in this at all. I know that a lot of the Naked Bars put in various different flavourings, like the rhubarb one or carrot cake or whatever, whereas this is literally just straight up fruit and nuts. So it doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste, like, amazing. But I don't think you would really expect that from this so i would maybe give it like a six out of ten but for what it is i think it's really decent the box was one pound 99 and you get five bars in a box so definitely better value for money than the naked bars and this would be like a really good healthy snack option this kind of thing would be ideal if you're into like hikes and stuff because they're very like condensed and they have a lot of energy going on in them so i probably would buy them again i'd be intrigued to maybe try some of the other flavors i think i would maybe go for the cacao one next time just because i feel like that one must have something else going on can't just be fruit and nuts so yeah generally not incredible but for what they are i think this is pretty decent and then finally i picked up some chocolate buttons these were 99p and they caught my eye because they said they're new on them and I love trying new things, so this, I don't even want to, I'm going to butcher this name, but the Mosa Roth <laughs> brand is like Aldi's chocolate brand. They have a few different vegan options as far as I'm aware, I think some of the dark chocolates happen to be vegan, and these are 70% dark chocolate buttons, 70% is like my perfect level of dark chocolate, anything more than that is far too bitter for me, so I'm hoping I'm going to really enjoy these. Again, another resealable pack. I love that they're making it easier for me to not finish the whole bag. Mmm, that is pretty decent dark chocolate. Again, not anything far from what I was expecting these to taste like. It's literally just nice dark chocolate. If you like dark chocolate, I would definitely recommend giving them a go. Gram wise, you get 100 grams in here, so for 99p, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Also, I feel like chocolate tastes better when it's in a button form as opposed to a bar. Don't know if that's just me, but I can see myself getting through this pack very quickly. This is like the perfect level to just like satisfy when I fancy something sweet, but I don't want anything crazy. They're definitely the kind of thing that I would buy again in the future. So that is everything that I picked up to try in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if there's anything else in Aldi at the moment that's worth me picking up and trying. I'm now going to go cool down, probably drink a pint of water and maybe go outside for a little bit because... I'm melting slightly, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.